Hello everyone, welcome back to the College Review Series by Akash. So today we are going to review Triple IT Pune. So if you want to have a 360 degree review of this Triple IT and want to know everything about this institute, about its campus, courses, fee structure, scholarship, cutoff and a lot more, then stay tuned till the very end. Pune or Indian Institute of Information Technology Pune was established in 2016 by Ministry of Education, Government of India under the public-private partnership model. Talking about its campus, then currently the permanent campus of IIIT Pune is under construction and is expected to be established in 100 acres. So for now, IIIT Pune is operating from its transit campus which is in Ambegaon, Pune. The campus includes all the basic facilities which are necessary for the academic growth of the students which includes an academic block with two boys hostels, one girls hostel, staff housing director's residence and other service blocks, labs. Further, the temporary campus includes labs that can accommodate 60 students, auditorium, library and a conference hall. IIIT Pune offers BTEC and MTEC programs in two specializations Computer Science and Engineering and Electronics and Communication Engineering. And to get admission in one of these courses, especially in the BTEC courses, the candidates first of all need to qualify for J Main. Secondly, they need to acquire 75 aggregate in their class 12 board examination with physics, chemistry and mathematics as their core subjects. Now let's have a look at the fee structure. So here is the consolidated fee structure that includes tuition fee first of all, which is 1,9,000 per semester. So the total charges for the entire 4 years of BTEC program comes about to be 10 to 11 lakh. With this, the institute provides various scholarship schemes such as fee reimbursement schemes for SC, ST, OBC and EBC students, merit come means and state scholarships, government scholarships and other specific scholarships such as post matrix scholarship for OBC students and other scholarships. For more information on the scholarships and to know the eligibility criteria in one of these scholarships, do visit the link given in the description. Now let's have a look at the placement statistics for the year 2024-25. So in this domain, the Triple IIT has achieved remarkable success with numerous companies visiting the campus for their campus placements in the current academic year. The highest package offered to students this year is 43 lakh per annum, while the average package is 13.09 lakh per annum. Notable companies that have offered high salaries include Convault, Fisher Jordan, Just Pay, Citibank, GE Digital, and many more. All the eligible final year students have been placed in the current academic sessions with 67 students receiving internship offers. Now let's have a look at the rank cutoff for the year 2024-25. It is the branch wise rank cutoff for after the fifth round of JOSA counselling. You can use this data as reference for your choice filling during the counselling process. For computer science and engineering, the rank cutoff for open category started at 9,557 and closed at 18,252. For EWS category, it was 2,859 and closed at 3,401. For open PWD, the rank started at 460 and closed at 856. For SE category, the opening and closing rank was 2,845 and 5,476 respectively. For Electronics and Communication Engineering branch, the rank cutoff for open category started at 17,293 and closed at 23,592. For EWS category, it was 3,844 and closed at 4,365. For open PWD, the rank started at 973 and closed at 1,068. For SC category, the opening and closing rank was 5,558 and 7,873. For more information on Triple IT Pune cutoff or for category wise cutoff, do visit the link given in the description. Now let's have a look at the fest and the events conducted here at Triple IT Pune. So, around the year, Triple IT Pune conducts several notable annual events that blends culture, technology, and entrepreneurship. Iconclave is one such event which is 
Triple IIT Pune's flagship techno cultural fest celebrated annually with a variety of events that cater to both technical enthusiasts and cultural aficionados. And second is E Summit. The E Summit is Triple IIT Pune's annual entrepreneurial event organized by the entrepreneurship set. So should you consider Triple IIT Pune? So the answer is Triple IIT Pune is a strong tech focus institution that has recently gained recognition particularly in the area of placements and industry collaborations however when comparing triple it pune with other institutions do consider these points so if you are considering iits then triple it pune is certainly not on par with top iits such as it delhi it bombay and it madras However, if you are getting newer IITs such as IIT Goa, IIT Dharwad, IIT Delhi, then you can certainly consider Triple IIT Pune based on your priorities. Such as choose IITs if you value research opportunities, brand value, and diverse career paths such as core, management, research, and IT. On the other hand, choose Triple IIT Pune if your goal is high-paying IT software job since its placement stats are strong. And if you're comparing Triple IIT Pune with NITs, it still makes sense to compare Triple IIT Pune with mid-tier NITs such as NIT Goa, NIT Uttarakhand, NIT Raipur, or NIT Jalandhar, as the placement opportunities and the level of academics is more or less the same. So choose NITs if you prefer a more established campus, government funding, and diverse branches beyond IT or CS. On the other hand, choose Triple IT Pune if you want better industry exposure in software or IT fields. Alright, so Triple IT is certainly going to be a great choice for you if your focus is on placement in tech firm. However, if you are more inclined towards research opportunities, infrastructure or broader engineering experience, then older IITs or NITs would be a better fit for you. Rest, I leave the decision on you as this was all from me today. Once again, do let me know in the comment section which other college do you want me to review next. Don't forget to press the like and subscribe button and for more such informative content, stay connected.